गुड आफ्टरनून जय हिंद टू ऑल माई नेम इज अमित कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर कंप्यूटर साइंस डिपार्टमेंट अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद सो टूडेज लेक्चर टॉपिक इज इंट्रैक्शन डिजाइन यू सी हियर द इंट्रैक्शन डिजाइन सो टूडे वी कवर द टॉपिक what is interaction design interaction design processes dimension of interaction design principle of interaction design good interaction design characteristics and some difference between ux design and interaction design so we cover uh, these point today so we start uh, with the first point what is interaction design uh, you see uh, when we interact with any um, websites any application we interact some points uh, he we given an example i given an example here uh, of uh, this one is uh, given by the amazon add to cart we interact add to cart then something happen some changes in our website so this one is a conversation between the user and product interaction design is nothing but conversation between the user and product so what is the best possible way to interact with the system uh, interaction design deal with the uh, digital product only digital product that one be the websites that one will be a, will be a app any app application area so the interaction between the user and a product when involve element like authentic authentic motion sound and space so so many interactive way we can implement in our digital product so the goal of interaction design is nothing but allow to the user to achieve their objective achieve objective in most efficient way that means when we involve uh, or uh, interact with the website or a digital product user interact with full satisfaction i have given an example of a atm machine the purpose of the atm go to the atm machine is that To withdraw the machine or some uh, involve in a transaction, so we have a uh, three options is to interact to the machine. The first one is the through the voice command. Second one is the through the keyboard or, or a keypad, and the touch on the screen. So we can interact uh, in ATM machine with the through the voice, through the keypad, and through the touch screen. So according to the user need. designer can create a such type of a layout for the user they can use it very easiest manner so the objective must be meet objective must be meet that means user satisfaction is there so user centered things is there and the next one is a process of interaction design we have a uh, discuss three processes the double diamond six sigma and user centered so, so the first one is uh, uh, double diamond uh, process in double diamond process is adopted by the uh, british design council in 1905 that is based on the uh, 96 this one is the proposed method in 1996 and uh, this this shows the such type of a two diamond shape thing uh, two diamond shape thing that means the first stage is shows the problem and second stage is shows the solution so we have a four phases 
in this we have a four phases. First phase is known as discover. Second phase is known as define. Third phase is developed. This one is developed. And last phase is deliver. That means we start from the here. Any problem comes at first we diversity. So we this one discover, define, develop, and deliver, then involved there. So some problem is come in existence. This was it, and we uh, elaborate it uh, through the questionnaires, through the meeting, through the interviews, through the self doc documentation. We elaborate it and find a refined statement, a find a uh, problem statement. That means we can say that a problem statement. What is the real problem? So define a problem. And sync it. Then we define a problem, and uh, this problem is come uh, as a, a single statement, and we then we find its a solution, and in the solution in the form of a number of prototypes, uh, prototype a rapid prototype we have. Uh, the, so visual uh, appeals is there through the designing, through the sketching, through the graphical designing. We find out the solutions. We have a number of solutions in a prototype manner. Then, if the prototype is correct according to the user, then if the user is satisfied with your prototype, then we test it. Test it, then deliver. Then deliver to the customer. So we can say that the uh, through this uh, double uh, diamond process, we develop a such type of a design or a, we can say that the interactive design uh, that user needs full satisfaction or user satisfy with this thing. And the second one is six sigma processes. Here the six sigma processes have a main two categories. DMAIC and DMAVD. DMAIC that is stand for the define, measures, analysis, analyze, improvement and control the way. So, when we talk with the DMAIC, it is a data driven approach used for optimizing the improving the existing business design processes. Define that means the problem of a project must be defined in a single statement. Measure it in different aspect that is is existing process in a detail. Analyze the total data we have and flow of the data, not the flow of the process. If any improvement is there, then give, uh, in, involve in our process and overall control if if needed in future. So this one is a. Uh, first part that is known as DMAIC and the same second is DMAVD. DMAVD is also DMADV. It focuses on a development entire process or we can say that the existing process when the customer is not satisfied. So, we redesign it and verify it. So, when we redesign it, that means our uh, prototype design or our design methodology, we can change some aspect according to the user need and verify by the users. So, DMAV also stands for the define, measures, analyze, design and verify. So, define the purpose of the product or services, it is very clear by the user. The purpose of the product and the services and a single statement, what type of a 
problem we have and uh, which type of solution we find. Measures its crucial component of a process and product capabilities we have, we measure it in a different aspect. Analyze the total data we have and if any alternatives and find the best solution, best design solution. Then we select the best alternative and test its prototype. When we test its prototype, then we verified it in efficient manner and then we use it in our design aspect. So, uh, six sigma processes have a two type DMAIC and DMABD and the third one is human centered design process. Human centered that means we in our end, end user have in a focused in our centered that means all the psychological aspect all the desirable things all the requirement according to the user we design a such type of a layout according to the users so human centered design layout that means the first one is observation through the observation we can create a uh, uh, observation uh, that means uh, Suppose that uh, we want to buy a, some product uh, from the Amazon site. So, we go to the site and we uh, search the t-shirt, uh, suppose that we can, we, we uh, purchase the t-shirt. So, if a problem is there, we observe it and find a, some possible solution. This one is a ideal generation. Through the ideal generation, we create a prototype it. We create a prototype it. When we create a prototype it, we use own self for the, for the test or this prototype are verified by the end user. So, we test it prototype, we test it prototype, observation of the problem, ideal generation, some, uh, some solution is there, we generate a prototype or we design a prototype, we test its prototype and then develop. And when we develop it, if the, we not meet the user satisfaction or a user need, so we again go to the observation, then set other ideal generation, create a prototype, then evaluate it and then deploy it. So, this one is a, uh, the first one is double diamond, second one is six sigma processes and human center. So, these are the main processes of interaction design and <laughs> the dimension of the interaction design, dimension of the interaction design that means we have a five type, five dimension, visual presentation, visual appeal through the graphics, physical object or a space that means physical object that such as mouse or finger touch on the screen or any stick. Time is there, some sound and things we using when we submitting uh, click on the button, some uh, uh, some sound is up, up here or some uh, uh, some dialogues box is open and say something so, and behavior. So, first one by one we elaborate it. So, here five dimension world visual representation visual representation physical object time and behavior here world world is nothing but text 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 under the button labels menu items or any tags especially those used in interaction like button labels say that, that means if if we add to cart art. So, we click on this button, this one is this one is a text. Suppose this one is a button that is submit, submit. So, this one is text. So, we uh, write the such type of a text that is very simple and uh, readable and uh, easy uh, in an easy manner. Easy manner that means end user can understand it is very 
simple manner. The second one is visual representation. Visual representation is nothing but the images. Images or images. That means through the graphics, through the graphics, we or a, or a uh, typography or, or a through the icons, we we add in our layout or a, uh, in our website or in our digital product uh, for the attractive uh, the website is shows as an attractive manner. Uh, this means that, that that means in when we use the word word that means the complete information, complete information we have, and unnecessary information we remove it. Visual representation is also give the information. The next one is physical object. Physical objects are the medium through which user interact with a product or a services such as mouse, uh, small, uh, in finger, any touch. This one is this pen. Uh, we uh, write this one is this is the physical object is there. So, through that physical object, the user interact with the product. So, we, we have such as phone, user's fingers. So, physical object, through the physical object, we interact with the uh, website or a app. The next dimension is time. Some sounds, li little abstraction, or some media changes when we interact in or any button or a thing. Suppose that we click on a submit button. We click on a submit button. Uh, some sound appear, and uh, are some uh, special dialog. Uh, your form is submitted successfully. So, this type of a thing appear, this one is come under the time and behavior. This includes the mechanism or a product, how to user perform action on the website. That means, suppose uh, when a user interact with a, uh, any website, after uh, uh, finish his work, website asks, you do again the things if the behavior or uh, is a good or a representation is a good or design is a good then user again go to the site and that means that we, that one is a feedback also the pro, pro, pro user and the product between the user and product so uh, this one is a feed behavior is just one is a feedback process so with the uh, here I am given a website, uh, Amazon website. This one is a text or a world. This through the image, visual visual presentation here. Some sound may be appear. This image as a card. This one, this one uh, visualization is very good and attractive. Uh, therefore, the user can attract uh, the website or uh, feel good we can say feel feel is very important uh, because of uh, we are when we, when we are designer uh, pro uh, product digital product so through this example we can say that uh, when we uh, when we explore these dimension through this uh, web example and this one is a world world of tax here this one is a used image the number of images used you seen in this website and uh, words also time slot is there some uh, performance or action happen then some action is going or some sound is going or some uh, acting performed by the slide the next one is principle of interaction design these are <laughs> the principle match ux ux that means user experience match user experience and ex acceptations it's the very important thing here 
match user experience, uh, the designer experience, uh, as a designer have uh, some experience and the user have uh, some acceptation. So, uh, this one is complete uh, with the first principle. Consistency, maintain the consistency throughout all uh, the application. So, maintain the consistency here. The, first, the third one is functionality. Functionality is come under the <coughs> uh, functional minimizing. That means function minimizing. Then the one that means avoid uh, some things. Cognitions, mental pressure uh, to understand the application, reduce the cognitive loads. Engagement, user engage in our website or a product. User control, all the operation control under the user as seems. Perceivability perceivability, institution and interactive media, learnability, easy to learn uh, by the user or uh, user not to <coughs> uh, before, before apply, the, uh, before use the application or a app or a website, uh, not to learn or not use to more training. So, easy to learnability, error handling is there, so handle the error, easy to uh, if occurs error occurs, then we handle easily and affordability. So these are the some uh, key principles. Uh, we elaborate one by one. UX match uh, user experience. So by matching <coughs> the sequence of a step, layout of information and terminology used with the acceptation and prior prior experience of the user designer can reduce the friction and discomfort of learning of a new system. That means. The prior experience of a user and a both designer, we can reduce the discomfort and the friction of the new system <laughs> if we have a experience. So through the experience we can achieve it. So this is a first principle. Consistency design, consistency design that means along matching uh, people acceptations through the terminology layout and interaction the design should be consistent throughout the process and between the related application consistent throughout the process that means we apply a such type of a design where each and everything may be in our website or is related applications we consistent here functionality functionality that means very simple manner we present our website or application. Simple manner that means user can read, understand easily, easy to understand and <coughs> apply or operate easily. So, avoid unnecessary features and function, break complex tasks into the manageable subtasks, limit function rather than the user experience. We have other cognition, reduce the cognitive load, that means mental pressure. Uh, here we can say that the cognitive process of a thought, uh, when we, when user involved in our website, uh, no burden uh, apply on the, his mind. Engagement, user engage in our website or app throughout when the process is going on. User control, allow the user to control, trust and explore. Uh, when we uh, when the user operate the website or a app all the control have uh, have by the user the all control uh, under the user then the seven is perceivability invite interaction through institution and interactive media learnability easy to learn easy to learn that means no training is required by the user error handling error handling that means uh, we prevent the error uh, first of all if, uh, and and we have uh, some error prevention techniques uh, uh, some is with, uh, as a function that are relevant by the user using appropriate control and con uh, and constraint input providing clear institution and primitive help provide clear warning messages through these uh, we have apply uh, apply in our website we control errors and uh, affordability, simulate action taking uh, ins inspiration from the 
usual and physical world interaction that means the quality of an object allow the individual to perform an action for the example so we uh, we have discussed uh, what is interaction design interaction design process dimension and principle of interaction design so we we discussed these four point today thank you